Hi guys. Two months ago I purchased a Cub Cadet XT2 Enduro Series lawn tractor. This one is the uh, LX 42 inch fuel injected. Uh, I purchased this to replace my older Sears tractor that was giving me problems and I figure I'll get a fresher machine for the yard. The main duties of this is to pull my lawn accessories and to uh, cut a side property that I have and to help out with my leave, my leaves in the, uh, the fall cleanup. I have a larger uh, machine, a skag that does the, the primary yard, but this one will just help out. I have five hours on this machine now and I'd like to tell you my review on it and uh, the good and the bad about the machine. I find the machine to be very comfortable. It has a, uh, a real real nice seat with the armrests. It comes with a bumper in the front, as you saw already. It's got larger tires. And these tires go good because on that side property I have, it's got a fairly large incline going up and down it. And this uh, climbs up and down no problem while well, the Sears tractor was slipping occasionally. I put a mulch cover on it. Some guys online, they complain about the, the mulch cover falling off. But if you look at this one closely, you'll see that it snaps to the front. And you have a metal wire that you have to, uh, you have to put on. And you see the wing nut over here. The wing nut goes down so if you put it on like that, it won't fall off. I do have grass clippings that gather on the bottom, but if you just loosen up the wing nut and uh, loosen up the uh, the uh, mulch cover, you can pull the grass clippings out. This one has a, a push button start, where you push this button and hold it down three seconds to start it. This button here controls your your uh, your backup when you're mowing your lawn. You have to push this for the machine will back up. Otherwise, the machine will shut off. I find that to be extremely annoying, and I'll tell you how I fix that. You also see a switch right here. This switch is for my headlights. Cub Cadet doesn't give you a switch for your headlights. I'll show you how I wired that in. It has a cruise control. As you're going along with the your yard and you're stepping on this pedal to go forward if you just simply press this down right here this uh, parking brake or cruise control switch and let go it'll uh, the cruise control will be set I didn't even know how to work that it took me a while to figure that one out and if you just touch either the brake or the uh, forward control pedal it'll pop up and come off this is your throttle right here if you want to adjust your seat, you have uh, this lever you just pick up and these little tabs will go across. So I have this seat all the way back from my, my body. I have a, a pigtail coming off the battery and what I have is a, a battery tender junior trickle charge that I always plug into these things. So when they're sitting in my garage unattended, I know when I go back to it, it'll, it'll fire right up. And also the batteries tend to last a lot longer too. This one is the uh, 547cc engine. And uh, when you change the oil, they give you this hose coming off the bottom here. Makes the uh, oil changes easy. On this side, they give you a, an oil filter to take off. It's located right here. So get a good strap wrench, put it on, and, and rotate it off the conventional way. And uh, for some reason, when I changed the oil in this, it was extremely hard to get off. Very, very tight. And I think the problem with it was that uh, there's a, a coil spring on the inside of the filter. I bought another replacement filter, an OEM Cub Cadet filter, and yet... Uh, it didn't have that feature so I think that spring is what keeps it really tight maybe they do that so if you blow the engine 
they'll know if you change the oil or not. It's probably why they uh, put a different type of filter on it when it's new. But this one is a 540C, 547cc, and uh, I don't know the horsepower rating on it. Uh, but my former tractor was a Sears, a Briggs & Stratton, 21 horse, and that was a 540cc. So I'm thinking if the bore and stroke is about the same, uh, then it's about a 21 horse too, 20 horse anyway. The first time I used this was in April, and I had uh, the grass was about a foot long, and uh, it went right through it. The motor wasn't bogging down, so it has plenty of power. I noticed on this machine it had uh, good spindles on it with their sealed bearings, but if you look closely inside, I did put a grease fitting on each spindle. So now when I take it apart, now when I grease it, maybe 10 hours or so, I know this, these spindles will probably last the life of the tractor. The headlight switch, that bugged me. And if you come over here, you chase the wires where they go into the hood over here, you see a green and red wire. So, so all you do is just, uh, over here, you just take one wire apart cut the wire and then run the switch up into the dash over here. So you just got to break one wire for that and uh, I think it's a lot better. But one thing I really hated about this tractor when I used it because I, I got caught three times with it was if I forget to hold this button here for three seconds when I'm cutting the grass I tend to uh, the, the machine will stall out and there's no recovery it'll shut off. So what I ended up doing I pull the battery out, just simply pull this, this wire off, take the two nuts over here, take the battery out, lift it up, and you'll find yourself a switch that looks just like this. It's bolted down with one nut, and uh, it's plugged into the back over here. And all I did was I just uh, went to my bench grinder, and I ground the, uh, the post off right here. So now when you throw it in reverse, it doesn't activate the switch, it doesn't shut off, so I save a step. And that's located right in the rear end over here. Pull the battery out, and you'll see it sitting just like this. It'll be sitting just like this at the, uh, on the transaxle. But all in all, I find the tractor to be uh, a very good value. Extremely comfortable to ride. And um, if you're into a market, uh, if you're looking to buy a lawn tractor, I'd, I'd recommend this one. This is a good machine. Okay, so thanks for watching guys.